Mr. Chairman, I'd like to ask Ashley if you would come up and give us an update on the storm that wasn't. <laughs> yes, sir. Fortunately, that's an easy update because, as Mr. Pritchard said, um, we uh, went through the through our normal process and procedures, monitoring the storm, uh, going through the preparations we needed to make. Um, you know, working working with our partners at the uh, National Weather Service, National Hurricane Center. Uh, I know I, I got a few emails from people that were worried about how the government shut down. Might have they did, but all the essential personnel were there. We had regular webinars so they could keep emergency management officials updated. And originally, the the, the forecast, like it does with all of the storms we typically see, it changed a lot. But it was projected to impact us with some some rainfall. Nothing that we were expected to be any um, any major problems. But as of yesterday, the National Hurricane Center actually stopped issuing advisories. There is no storm or or even a depression now out there, it's what they call running the low. That low pressure system um, is going to, they're expecting to interact with a, with a cold front that's moving through, so we may get some, some rain. It's kind of kind of gloomy out there now. We may get a little rain over the next couple of days, which is, you know, something would be welcome. Um, I, know, I thought a lot of people this weekend back in the box and stuff, thinking this storm was coming through, so they want us to get a little bit of rain, but uh, we were just very fortunate. Um, I think that, that um, everyone um, did a great job, as they always do, in making sure that if it a had actually materialized and the storm had been what they predicted or even worse, um, that we were, we were ready to, to um, respond as necessary and we would have been in good shape. Uh, Y'all have any questions about Any questions? 